Haptic technology is tactile feedback tech that recreates a sense of touch by applying force to the user. The market for this is set to be worth $29 billion by 2025. So it's not surprising to Danny and I that both tech giants and startups seem to be investing in this space. But what's happening across the pond? Since 2013, Disney researchers have been developing a new type of interactive computer interface, Arial, which sends out vortexes of air so users can feel virtual objects and textures all without wearing a physical device. Pretty cool stuff. Expressive tactile sensations mid-air. I'll sign up for that. Now, Microsoft have incorporated this tech into some functionalities of their Microsoft Band, the fitness wearable. And Danny, 3D haptic touch might find an application as well in medicine, where doctors could navigate through a patient's 3D brain scan, investigating the areas that require treatment. Smaller companies are also gaining in this tech. You've got New York-based Ringley who have created a ring that buzzes or vibrates when you receive a text, a phone call or a meeting request. And Pavlock in Salt Lake City offer a wristband that can be programmed to deliver a mild electric shock if you take a certain action you're trying to stop, such as biting your nails, smoking a cigarette, eating fast food. That sounds really extreme, but I'm sure it works and it might be handy maybe when I go window shopping to prevent me from dropping a lot of cash instead. Now, haptic tech is being used in so many applications now, right? Consumer tech, automotive, healthcare, aerospace, and even military. Keep an eye on this space because I know we will.